A Fond du Lac County judge today ruled that key evidence can be used during a trial concerning the deadly motorcycle crash that happened there involving several motorcycles. Authorities say last May, Clinton Lovelace drove his car across the center line on Highway 151 and he hit several members of a motorcycle club from Michigan. Two of them died. Fox 11's Chad Doran joins us now from the Fox 11 Valley Newsroom with more on what happened today in court. Chad? Well, Michelle, Judge Gary Sharp said clothes, a cell phone, and syringes examined by a sheriff's deputy at the hospital were properly handled and can be used during Lovelace's trial. Now, Lovelace's attorneys argued the evidence shouldn't be allowed because it could possibly have been tampered with. Now, the items were collected from Lovelace at the scene of the crash and sent with him by ambulance to the hospital. Lovelace's cell phone kept ringing and hospital staff asked the deputy to turn it off. When the deputy turned off the phone, he found Lovelace's ID and several syringes. Now, Judge Sharp said the deputy acted appropriately. Also this afternoon, the courtroom was packed with motorcycle riders, some of them members of the Muskegon motorcycle gang who were involved in the crash. And they say the judge's decision is a relief. I feel uh, relieved that the judge, I think, correctly decided the issue that was before him, and hopefully this will move the process one step closer to a resolution. That's what the victims need. Now, Lovelace's attorney was unavailable for comment after court. No trial date has been set for the case. Live in the Fox Valley Newsroom, Chad Doran, Fox 11 News.